What are some really subtle signs that a person is actually stupid? The signs are never as subtle as they think. The stupidest people are the ones who think they are smart. I agree. I feel like people who are really pretentious about the very specific niche thing that they are good at and talk down to other people for not being familiar with it are usually really dumb about literally everything else. The dumbest people are usually those who will never admit they don't know something. Yeah the people that go I know, I know, I know whenever you're telling them something. Five minutes later you find out in fact they don't know. Hey, if you do task this way it's easier and quicker. I know how to do task, I don't need you to tell me, continues doing task incorrectly. They get upset when you do something right. It's quasi common in my area for folks to get offended if you use a word they've never heard or don't understand. The assumption is that if you don't understand the word that the person using it is talking down to you and using flowery language to do so. So ducking weird. Lack of self-awareness. I had an internship with a woman like this. Unfortunately I was also roomed with her. Talking to her was awful. If you tried to explain anything to her, after she asked she'd genuinely get this look on her face, where you could tell that there wasn't a whole lot going on inside her head. Her eyes would just kind of glaze over, and she'd stare at you with her mouth hanging open. I've never actually met someone before who perfectly expressed the term slack-jawed. That was if you talked to her. Most people tried not to- People generally tried to avoid her. I once saw a police officer run when he saw her because he didn't want to get trapped by her again. She'd talk constantly, frequently about grossly inappropriate subjects because she didn't understand boundaries. If someone was slammed by work, she'd still be trying to talk to them. She literally could not understand why people avoided her or that they were avoiding her or that if someone is trying to deal with 50 other people, they can't talk to her right now about how her son shoplifted from Walmart two months before. The best way to tell if someone is stupid is if they consistently don't learn from mistakes. They don't seem to comprehend what they did cause the problem, even after being told numerous times. I work with someone who makes repeated mistakes. I explain where he went wrong. I not only explain the step-by-step -step instruction of the task, but the reasoning behind each phase so remembering. How to do it becomes less cumbersome. I can tell by the way he literally can't explain the most basic things about the task to our new guy that he just doesn't get any of it. Every time this particular task needs to be done, he pulls out the instruction and does it line by line. After years he still makes mistakes because he doesn't understand what he's doing. Just that he's on step 24A and it no longer works. I'm junior to him, but I run our section. The guy I trained eclipsed him by 3 months in. His replacement eclipsed him by 3 months in. He's more useless than an untrained new guy. But here's the kicker. He's the sweetest guy ever. No one dislikes him. Heck. Even though. He makes my job harder I really like the guy. He should have been fired over a decade ago. But no one wants to pull the trigger. This story is just a good demonstration. Of how useful being likable is. Emotional intelligence or just being emotionally balanced, makes up for so much, in so many ways, like holding down a job for a decade despite no idea what you're doing. This makes me think of Jerry Jerjic's character from Parks and Rec. Sucks so bad at his job, but is crushing it in life, because he's so nice. I'm right because I'm older. That would mean, that the oldest person in a room is always right. That is terrifying. I worked in a nursing home in which the oldest lady had a cane she would hit you with if you got in her way. Don't mind me. I'm just checking the comments here to see if I'm dumb. The most common answer is that dumb people don't realize they're dumb. The fact that you're willing to question yourself proves you aren't. Which, honestly, not actually true. I've known at least one person who was like I'm dense as a rock. And you know what? They were. Hi Wes. Low end. The ability to ignore all facts and still claim they are right. One time in college a classmate wanted me to review a paper she was writing. It had some pretty shocking statistics in it, but no sources or indication where the numbers came from. So I asked about it and recommended she added citations. She said oh, no it's not like that. 
I'm saying it feels like 90%. Guess the prof's answer to her grade is I'm saying it feels like a 0% grade. They are never wrong. Ever. Are you trying to make me proud of myself for doing dumb mistakes everywhere? It's not the dumb mistake that you should be proud of. It's the realization of the stupidity in your mistake. Also, if it keeps happening and you don't change, it's still stupid. Zero curiosity. He wants to make art, but he can't because he's a fundamentally incurious person who isn't much interested in what other people think or feel and all of his ideas boil down to what if Batman met Mario. Folding ideas review of the Nostalgia Critics parody of the wall link. Fundamentally incurious is the most brutal description of a person's intelligence I've ever heard. A stupid person makes the same mistake over and over again and cannot learn anything. This above all else. No matter how dumb of a mistake or action was performed. If they can learn I'd still say that they ain't stupid. But her inability to learn is inevitably going to make that person stupid as duck. A kid won't be a dumbass forever. For an example, I'd argue that there are two kind of dumb people. The ones who can't learn. The ones who can learn. But aren't willing to. So basically, they stay ignorant on purpose. That's the difference between ignorance and stupidity. Ignorance is fixable with effort. When they are ultra confident in everything they say, they are always an idiot. I'm completely sure of it. Personally, I believe a person is stupid when they refuse to learn and willingly choose to stay ignorant. I'm not talking about people that are unable to learn. I'm talking about people that are able to learn, yet they choose not to. My ex's grandmother refused to learn how to type. Her vision was fine. Her fingers were fine. She had ML and a computer, but she refused to touch a keyboard. If she wanted to send an ML, she would wait until one of her children visited her and then have them type it out for her. Edit because I keep getting the same comments. It wasn't a class thing. She had worked outside the home for most of her life. It wasn't a loneliness thing. She would never ask her kids to come over and help. She would wait, sometimes weeks, until someone visited her and then ask them to type. Weirdly it wasn't even a tech thing. She would use the mouse just fine and play solitaire or use programs that didn't require any typing. She had stubbornness issues. A lot of that family did learn how to type. What the heck? You literally just press the key with the letter on it and it makes that letter appear on the screen. It seems like she just wanted to inconvenience herself to be honest. Dealing with someone like that right now. Best example is I gave them an itemized list of questions I needed answered. They only sent back the first item on the list and still ducked it up. I work in automotive and was at a government summit once showcasing our cars. Had a lady at a pretty influential position who asked me the difference between a rear wheel drive and a 4WD odd car. After I was done explaining. She asked me what's the point of having front wheels on a rear wheel drive car. My brain had to reboot to comprehend that question. For a second I was going to be sympathetic to someone who didn't understand 4WD vs sword. But damn that's some next level in comprehension. Stupid people are really curious about anything. I always feel the most intelligent people I've ever met have ridiculously broad knowledge. Like sure you can meet someone who knows several subjects inside out, but I always feel a difference between that and people who you could talk to about nearly anything. It's clear they are curious by nature and taking little bits of everything in. Definitely seems like a common trait. My coworker thinks I'm really really smart. Honestly I doubt I'm much smarter than she is. I just look up pretty much everything I don't have an answer to instead of shrugging and asking a higher up. I'm always reading new books and exploring new ideas. I'm not smarter, but my curiosity has made me more knowledgeable, and that's something anyone can achieve with time. There's no reason to make yourself look average. One of the reasons smart people tend to know things is because they can retain information better, pass through new information more efficiently, and form more connections between different pieces of information they have people who are not smart in this way find it harder to understand new concepts and are thus less inclined to find out more because it's a chore for them. So most likely, you are smarter than your colleague which is not really a compliment. People are born this way and it's a privilege. 
but you are putting in the effort to expand your knowledge using your smartness and I think that's commendable. Edit there are different types of intelligence and my comment doesn't even begin to capture the many diverse ways people can be smart or great. If you read my comment and feel bad for lacking any of the things listed, you already have self-awareness which is in its own right a very important tray to have for self-improvement. You are going to be fine. Overconfident in a subject that they clearly know nothing of and try to tell you you're wrong after facts have been presented. Attorney here. I'm not the smartest person in the room most of the time, and that's fine. But I did extensively study the constitution in law school and after, and I constantly watch people misstate what parts of it mean on social media and they are absolutely convinced that they're right and argue with people with more expertise in the area. And it happens with all professions and it's always infuriating. Fellow frustrated attorney here, here's an old Onion article link that will hopefully make you laugh instead of cry. PPACA expert here. There was an Anian article that encapsulated it for me. That read paraphrasing from memory man who understands 5% of legislation argues vehemently with man who understands 2% or something along those lines. And it felt pretty accurate reminder about death panel rumors and all that. Starting to self-identify. Reading through all the comments. To be self-aware. Learn of your past mistakes. And to better yourself. That's the beginning of a bright future. Being ready to learn everywhere and from everything. After enough time you will realize how good that really is. Become an expert in a field of your choice and start to realize that way too many people in your field are no experts at all. Looking at you. Veteran it admins in Germany. Edit in case of confusion veteran in the sense of being in the industry for centuries. Not military thingy. They bring up their IQ score from an online test they took when we were 13. A buddy of mine came to school filled with excitement and couldn't wait to tell us about the amazing results he got from an IQ test. Okay fine. What did you score? 98 almost full marks. Sometimes you can just see there's nothing behind the eyes. My cat would feel personally attacked by this if he wasn't such a dingus. Not being able to admit they were wrong. Though sometimes this is a sign of immaturity, there's a strong correlation with stupidity. I'd say it goes even beyond admitting. Smart people might also have trouble admitting a mistake to other people due to pride. But stupid people won't even consider the possibility that this sort of thing might happen. Smart people view mistakes accidents as moments to learn from, I think. Not being able to spell is normal. Lots of people are dyslexic. Not knowing you can't spell. On the other hand, see that door marked pirate. You think a pirate lives in there. I see a door marked private. They talk about how smart they are. The more you know, the more you know you don't know. Someone might think they know all the stars that exist according to the ones they can see. But if they further educate themselves in astronomy, they will know just how much they don't know. Lots of talking, not much listening. The empty can rattles the most. People who have no self-awareness. Someone I love took an online IQ test. They proudly shared their score of 300. Edit yes. IQ tests especially unofficial ones are dumb. Biased and measure a very limited scope of intelligence. People who are proud of not reading. They think they are always right without providing any rational facts or arguments. I don't know how subtle this really is, but insisting that something isn't real, just because they personally haven't witnessed experienced it. Case in point an acquaintance who was convinced that cat calling wasn't as prevalent as people made it seem. Because well, I've barely ever seen it happen. Like yeah, bro, you're 6, 3, bearded, and built like a defensive lineman. Of course people aren't gonna be cat calling many women you're walking with, Jesus. People who brag about how smart they are. Usually they are the dumbest of the dumb. The dumbest guy I know keeps staring at me in the mirror. They come to your seafood counter and ask if that's where they pick up turkeys. Being unable to differentiate disagreement from hatred and thinking anyone who doesn't agree with all of your opinions is hateful and evil. I'm 29 and recently I've discovered how important nutrition is for your brain functions. 
was eating junk food for a while very regularly, and it was obvious to me afterwards how stupid I was. Looking at my assignments etc. There is such a difference.